How is sleeping related to dreaming? Huh? <laughs> How is getting a good night's rest a vital part of pursuing your dreams? And not just the ones that we have while we sleep. I really believe that in order for us to pursue our dreams and our goals with a passion, with a fire that just cannot be extinguished, we have to be at the top of our game. The top of our physical game, emotional, mental, spiritual. If we do not have that basic foundation, it's gonna be really hard for us to also try to pursue big goals and lofty dreams and do hard things and face challenges. I think when we set ourselves up with a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a really strong spirituality, no matter what that is, we're setting ourselves up to be the best versions of ourselves and to pursue that dream life. Sleep is an incredibly important part of our day and our life. We spend, what, 30% of our life sleeping, 25% of our life sleeping. There are some really important functions that take place while we sleep. Number one, our brain processes all the information of the day and gets rid of toxic waste. That's a win. I don't want toxic waste in my brain. Our sympathetic nervous system gets the chance to chill the out. That means like the sympathetic nervous system that's been like la, 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 all day because we lead stressful lives <laughs> in this modern world. It gets to chill out, take a break. This is super incredible to me. When we sleep, our immune system releases a little protein. These little proteins fight inflammation. So if you are sick or if you have an infection coming on or if you have trauma to the body, it's those proteins that flood your body to fight any illness, any trauma. It's amazing to me. So what happens when we don't sleep? Well, we get really tired. <laughs> There was a study done at Stanford University in the 1960s and there was a boy who stayed awake for 11 days. I can't even imagine. He stayed awake for 11 days and he had brain fog and he had um, trouble recalling, he had memory loss, um, but he actually hallucinated. Like he saw whole visions that were not there. It's kind of a big deal. And unfortunately, in America, about 30 to 40% of the population struggles with insomnia. That's a huge number of people who are struggling to fall asleep, stay asleep. And if you are one of those people, and I'd love to encourage you to reach out for help. There are so many resources now, whether it's evaluating your sleep hygiene and kind of the routine that you have before bed, whether there's natural supplements that can help you to fall asleep or stay asleep or have a deeper sleep. I know for the past year and a half, I've been taking a supplement that has really improved the quality of my sleep. If you know me, you'll know that I can fall asleep like anywhere, anytime, but I have these crazy dreams. Like I have crazy dreams where I wake up and I still feel the emotions and so I don't get restful sleep all the time. And so I reach out for help with that and I can tell you like my energy has improved, my mental health has improved by focusing on sleep as a priority in my life. I can't tell you the impact it's had on my life. If you are somebody who wants to up-level your game, who have big dreams that you want to pursue, and this is an area of your life that is lacking a little bit, let me know. I have some resources I might be able to send you um, that, that might help. So, for all my dreamers out there, let's not just dream in our sleep. Let's dream in our real lives. <laughs> Sweet dreams, all my dream teamers.